I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question using trigonometric functions. The question here is a 2 meter tall person is running at a rate of 2 meters per second when he spots an apple on the tree 6 meter off the ground. How fast is the angle of elevation to that apple is increasing when he is 3 meters from the base of the tree? So you can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's say uh, that's the tree. Let me make a diagram here. Let's say that's the tree. And uh, the person is running kind of like this in this direction. <coughs> An apple is spotted. Let's say here. And the height of the apple is given to you as 6 meters. It is 6 meters off the ground. So 6 meters is this height from the ground. Now 2 meter tall person is running. So, so let's say, let's say that, uh, so that's 2 meters, let's say. Let's say this is, this is what is happening. 2 meter tall person is running. So what you observe here is that this height remains kind of constant, right? However, the angle of elevation changes. So, so if I connect these two points, let's say like this, then the angle of elevation theta will be this angle. Here, the height of the apple above the eye level will be 4, correct? So as the person runs, this angle changes. So I hope now you understand what the question is. How fast is the angle of elevation to that apple is increasing when he is 3 meters from the base of the tree? So ultimately, at one time, it will be 3 meters away. So let us look into that situation also. If he is 3 meters away from the base of the tree, this will be 3. So at that instance, distance here will be 3 square plus 4 square square root, right? 9 plus 16 square root, 9 which is 25 square root is 5, correct? So at that time, the distance is going to be 5, correct? So that becomes the base of our situation. That is how we can understand it. And now we can actually solve it. You could solve it using uh, trigonometry and even otherwise. However, we'll use trigonometry here. Whenever we talk about angles, trigonometric ratios are good to use. Now, this angle from the given situation could be related in terms of opposite and adjacent side, right? So, the ratio is uh, tan. You remember Sokatoa, sine is a positive over hypotenuse, cos adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is a positive over adjacent, right? So we could write this function as tan theta, where theta is the angle of elevation, is equal to 4. The height remains same. So the person is running, so this distance is changing. So we'll say that the direction in which whether the distance this dx dt will be changing, right? So let's say x is in this direction, right? So what you notice here is that the distance decreases as the person approaches the tree, right? We'll call this as in general x, right? So because the situation could be kind of like this, is it okay? Let's say a person is now here x distance away. Do you understand? x distance away from the tree. At that time, the angle theta is 4 over x. Do you see that? So we'll take tan theta as 4 over x. A person is approaching the tree. Right. Now it's given to us, a 2 meter tall person is running at the rate of 2 meters per second when he spots an apple on the tree. So when we say the rate of, that means what we are also given here is 
exchange of x with respect to time. So we are given dx dt which is equals to 2 meters per second, right? You can see that the distance decreases, right? Distance decreases and therefore it may be a good idea to use minus here, minus 2 for dx dt since distance is decreasing, right? So it is decreasing. Perfect. Uh, well, you could work with uh, plus 2, but remember that since the distance is decreasing, uh, we could take this as minus 2, right? Now, uh, so the function is d theta equals to 4 over x. So we are relating theta with x, but in this case, we know time is the independent variable. So we need to differentiate this function with time, right? Now, some of you may know derivative of tan theta, which is secant square x. Uh, if you don't, we may have to do a little bit of calculations here. So, so you could say that tan theta equals to sine theta over cos theta. Is it okay? Let's say y equals to tan theta. Then what is y dash equals to respect to theta? We can apply the quotient rule. So we get cos square theta. Derivative of sine theta is cos theta, so we get cos theta times this cos theta makes it square minus sine theta times derivative of cos theta, which is minus sine theta, which makes it plus, right? Plus sine theta, okay. We get cos square theta plus sine square theta in the numerator, 1 over cos square theta, let me write theta here. Uh, which is secant square theta. Is it okay? So that's the derivative of uh, tan theta. Perfect. So you could go into details. I'll provide you with a link to find derivative of tan theta. With all this information, I think you can do the calculations and get the answer. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay. So what we have here is tan theta goes to 4 over x. Let's differentiate both sides with respect to time, right? With respect to time. So in that case, uh, let me write here d dt of tan theta equals to d dt of 4 over x. Now differentiating with respect to time, derivative of tan theta is secant square theta. So we get secant square theta times d theta dt, right? So that's the rate of change of angle. Now differentiating this, this is like, think like this, d dt of 4 x to the power of minus 1, right? So that gives you x to the power of minus 2 with a negative sign. So you get minus 4 over x square times dx dt, correct? So that is the derivative of 4 over x. Now we need to find the rate of change of angle of elevation when x is 3 meters from the tree, right? So when x is 3 meters from the tree, we know the height is 4 and the value of secant theta is how much? So if, so if you consider this particular triangle, this particular triangle, secant is 1 over cos as you know that is hypotenuse over adjacent side right so so let me do here this works what really happens here is at this stage what we know is let me change the name. secant theta is equals to 5 over 3 when when x is 3, when x is equals to 3. Is that okay? And we also know dx dt is minus 2. Perfect. Now, secant square theta will be square of this. Correct? So let's rearrange this formula and find what d theta dt is. So we can write this as d theta dt is equals to 
minus 4 over x square times dx dt dx dt is minus 2 minus 2 times 1 over secant which is cos square theta right 1 over secant which is cos square theta so in our case cos will be 3 over 5 is that okay when theta x approaches so at x equals to 3 what happens at x equals to 3 let me recalculate x is 3 so we'll substitute 3 here we could minus 4 over 3 square times minus 2 cos theta is 3 over 5 times 3 over 5 whole square correct so you can calculate this to get your answer correct so clearly the angle is increasing as you approach and we get we could simplify this 3 square and 3 square cancels correct so this 3 square cancels with this 3 square 2 times 4 is 8 with a positive sign denominator is 5 square we get 25 right so so that is how you can actually solve this question so you get 8 over 25 and the units will be radians per second right so 8 over 25 radians per second is the rate at which the angle of elevation is changing when the distance of the runner from the tree is 3 meters i hope that helps thank you and all the best.